guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video because it is going to be update number 10 for my ABH Sultry Pan That Palette for 2023. Um, we had a little bit better like use this past month and I do have two new pans to share with you, meaning we just have one pan left in this palette. This is my first year ever doing a Pan That Palette and boy have I learned that I really never want to do a full year dedicated to a pin that palette again. This has just not been for me. I absolutely have loved the ABH Sultry palette like within its lifetime with me, but I'm so bored with this palette. And I think I'm going to do pan those palettes next year and do like a quarterly palette and just try and hit pan on everything. Maybe palettes that are getting a little bit older in my collection. And then after I hit pan on every single shade within the palette, I will feel good about decluttering that palette. This is something no matter where we're at within this palette at the end of this year, I will be saying adios to the ABH Sultry palette. They do now have the mini ABH Sultry. So if I really wanted this in my collection again, I could purchase it, but I feel like uh, after using this well over 200 times in its lifetime with me not within this past year But within its lifetime with me, I'm just kind of ready to be done with this one But we're gonna get into all of the updates So if you're interested stay tuned first if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content Palette theme content or just chit chatting about makeup. I'd love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on and other than that Let's jump into the video All right, you guys, I am filming this a couple of days early. It is currently the 27th of October, um, but I'm off through the weekend. And basically the next time I work is Halloween and I plan to either have fun with my eyeshadow or not wear any eyeshadow at all the next few days. So I know that I'm not gonna get any more use on this palette in the next few days. And I figured since I have my makeup on, I will just film this update today. So as I mentioned, I've been working on the ABH Sultry palette. And so I will pop on the screen a picture of what this palette was looking like when I rolled this in at the beginning of the year. And below that, I will post a picture of what this palette was looking like last update. And then finally at the bottom of the screen, I will post a picture of what this palette is looking like now. So as you can see, very exciting. We do have two new pans and they are like pretty decent pans. So I have a new pan in the shade Ember, which I'm very excited about, as well as the shade Cyborg, which I'm also very, very excited for. Leading into this update, I had reached for this palette a total of 156 times this past year, which like isn't like it is a lot, but like also not a lot. Like I've definitely had some months where I have not been reaching for this much at all. My main goal um, the last few months of the year is really just to hit 200 uses within this palette. And I would like to use the shades still remaining with the exception of New York at least 30 times. We're almost there on most of the shades. And like I said, we're going to get into all of it. Um, but also new is I depotted this, the shade Slate. I'm not that into gray toned eyeshadows. And yes, I did just purchase the Natasha Denona Xenon, Xenon palette. Why did I do that if I'm not that into grays? But just having that in the palette was like kind of annoying to me. So I decided to get rid of that one. Um, I feel like I forgot to, to say, I was like had a thought and then got away from the thought, but I had reached for this palette 156 times leading into the past update. I reached for it an additional 18 times since the last update, putting me at 174 total uses within this project. So we will go shade for shade as we always do. I'll tell you how many times I've used, used each of the pans and any sort of goals I might have. So um, up first we have the shade Fresh, which was our first completed pan within this project. I reached first pan, I reached for Fresh a total of 69 times before finishing it. As within this year, I had already had a lot of use on Fresh going into this project. Next up, we have the shade Pearl. I reached for Pearl 50 times this year before hitting pan and completing the shade Pearl. Next to that, we have Steampunk, which I have not reached for at all since the last update. This is the last remaining pan I have to hit within this palette. Um, I've only reached for Steampunk 15 times this whole year. Clearly, I don't... Steampunk, like this type of a gold, just isn't my favorite. But I would like to at least hit pan. If I could reach for this 15 total times, maybe. I just don't necessarily see myself reaching for it 15 times in the next two months. We'll see. Um, but at bare minimum, like, we need to hit a pan <laughs> in this shadow. 
Next we have the shade Rose Quartz and I feel like there has been some pan expansion on Rose Quartz. I did reach for Rose Quartz seven total times since the last update, which puts me at 34 total uses within this project. I'm a little bit surprised that I've only reached for Rose Quartz 34 total times just because this was one of my favorite shades within this palette kind of going into this year. And I will say I do like like I'm just so much more into like indie shadows these days and I like something a little bit more like metallic on the eyes. So ABH Sultry is like, it's like a little tame. It's like a little bit, you know, it's not as like in your face as I like my shadows to be these days, which is why I typically am just reaching for something a little bit more punchy and a little bit more metallic and just haven't been as excited about my ABH Sultry palette. Next to Rose Quartz, we have Ember, and I'm so excited to finally have a pan on the shade Ember. I feel like it's a good size pan as well. I only reached for Ember an additional two times to hit that pan. Did I have a pan on Ember last month? I swear I didn't, you guys, but maybe I'm totally mistaken. Because <laughs> I'm like, two total uses, and like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just like don't care enough about this palette to like let me let me just go let me look at my notes okay yep <laughs> I hit ember last month we only have one new pan this month and it was cyborg <laughs> okay but I did reach for ember an additional two times and I'm happy with like the state of the pan ember like I'm like okay we're looking like we have like a decent pan going there I like to use ember on the outer third of my eye clearly I don't reach for it that frequently I really do like it when I do I just have not been excited about this palette since like the first three months that's just like me and like I get bored with things very easily <laughs> so again pan that palette well I'm happy for the experience I won't do it again but I do want to finish the year out just so like I've done truly a full year of a dedicated pan that palette all right, next to Ember, we have the shade Bloom, which I did depot and um, make into like a blush. I had reached for it 22 times leading into this update. I've not reached for it at all. I don't think I'll reach for it an additional eight times um, to hit my third use goal. I just don't see that happening. But I do think I will keep that blush um, for next year because I did like that this past spring summer. I thought it was a really beautiful red toned blush. And then the final shade on the top row is Birch, which was probably my favorite shade within this palette. I reached for Birch 89 times this year to complete that shade. Moving on to the bottom row, we have the shade Cinder. I reached for Cinder an additional two times, putting me at 23 total uses. Have I been saying this correctly? Can you guys tell I'm like feeling a bit under the weather and I don't, I'm like, okay, rose quartz, I was at 27 uses leading into it. I reached for an additional seven times, putting me at 34 total uses. I don't know if I said it like that. Does it even matter? <laughs> and then Ember, I had reached for 28 times leading into this past update reached for it two more times for a total of 30. Okay, you guys get the point. <laughs> um, Cinder, I had reached for, I think I already said, but 21 total times leading into this update. I reached for it an, an additional two times, putting me at 23 total uses. Um, Cinder, so I dropped my ABH Soul Tree palette a few months back and some of Cinder broke out. So the pan has been expanding pretty quickly in Cinder. Um, I feel like if I was super dedicated, like if I really wanted to commit to just the ABH Sultry palette the rest of the year, I could complete Cinder, perhaps even Twig and Teak. But I just like, I mean, I should have known this. Like I just like trying new eyeshadow palettes. Why was I committing to a palette for the year? Because the panning side of me just like had to know what it was like. Anyway, I'm at 23 total uses for Cinder, so I would like to use Cinder at least seven more times, and that I think is totally doable to get me to that 30 use goal. The shade Twig, you guys, I like can't believe this. I'm like, I had only reached for Twig 22 times leading into this past, leading into this, mo this month. Where, what am I saying? <laughs> Uh, but I did reach for Twig an additional six times, putting me at 28 total uses. I swear I've used Twig. In my head, I've used Twig like 50 times this year. But anyway, I feel like we've had some really good pan expansion on Twig. Obviously, I, I know I will reach for Twig at least two more times to hit 30 uses. It'd be nice to try and reach for Twig like 22 times. Mm, that feels like a lot though. To reach 50 uses. I would at least like to hit... Um, like side pan or hit pan on the bottom of twig 
that would be like a good goal because i feel like we have like a really really good pan going in twig it'd be nice to just hit bottom pan there we'll see what happens um next we have the shade teak i did not reach for teak at all since the last update so 38 total uses on teak this has gotten quite a bit of use for me and i feel like yeah, I don't know if I have 12 more uses in me, but it'd be nice if I could get up to 50 uses for Teak. Teak is another one that I'm like, maybe we could try and like the side over here is really thin. So maybe I could try and hit like side pan on Teak. These three shades down here, like I have really good expansion or like use on all of them. I feel like we could hit side pan on Cinder, Twig, and Teak. Like at least get some side pan going, you know? Okay, moving on to the shade Dystopian. I had reached for Dystopian 59 times leading up to this update. I reached for an additional six times, putting me at 65 total uses on Dystopian, which is wild because I feel like the pan has just grown by like just the idiotiest, bittiest amount. I can tell it's pretty shallow, like towards the center, but like I just, it's such a dry, firmly pressed shade i just i couldn't be certain if we're gonna see any sort of expansion on dystopian i only use it now really to like fill in my hairline um that's like really all i use it for so it is what it is for the shade cyborg next to that our newest pan in this palette i had reached for cyborg 17 times leading into this update i did reach for cyborg an additional six times putting me at 23 total uses so i would like to reach for a cyborg an additional seven times to get to that 30 use goal before the end of the year um i do think i can do that i do think that i can and i'll be curious to see how much we can get that pan expanded to like i would like the cyborg pan to look like the rose quartz pan like that would feel really good um but then next to that we have the shade slate which again i depotted i <laughs> i've only reached for slate seven times this year before giving up and then i have the shade Nior, which um also kind of crumbled and broke so there is a really tiny pan at the top that is not by my own doing but i've reached for Nior 18 total times within this project i didn't reach for it at all this past month um and i don't i don't necessarily see myself reaching for new york 12 more times i just do not reach for a black really um and i'm okay with that like i'm okay with that it's just not i knew that when i bought the palette um and i'm okay with that but that is my update for this month's pan that palette i do have um 26 more uses to reach the 200 threshold meaning at least 13 times this month and 13 times in december that is definitely doable even though i'm so freaking bored to tears with this palette on the days that i'm just like racing out the door to work it's very easy for me to like reach for twig though and then maybe maybe even just put cinder all over the lid so we're gonna get some more use out of this palette we are but just know i'm bored to tears um i would love to know if you guys have done a pan that palette and how it went how your experience went did you like reach boredom after month three like i did let a girl know in the comments below but that is gonna wrap it up for days for today's video thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch and for supporting me and my channel as you guys always do i love you guys so much and i will catch you in my next video. Bye.